Welcome Aries. Okay, so we're going to look at the next two weeks and what is in store for you. Um, and yeah, what it is that you need to know to get yourself through these next few weeks. Well, two weeks actually. Okay, so we're using the Enchanted map here. Okay, and I did change it up and we're using the Gilded Tarot. I think I was on the way to changing it and just need a, a couple more weeks. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look here. Okay, so coming to life here, Aries. Coming to life. I feel like you're breaking out of some sort of mold that you've put yourself into here. Um, it's kind of like Aries... A bit like you've been trying to work on something, right, um, for, for a while. Whether that's you trying to manifest some sort of something um, or not. But there's something that you've... Kind of been stuck in. And I feel like you are breaking out of the mould that you have held yourself in for quite a while. And I feel as though there's nothing else you need to do about that because you're already coming out. Um, I feel as though, yeah, let's have a look here. What have we got? Nine of Wands. You've kind of, um, you've been through, you've been through a battle. That's what you've been through. And I feel like, like you've decided to put the wands down in this state of like, sort of like surrendering in a sense. Too many cards. Yeah. Because just out of pure um, exha exhaustion, in a sense, from actually, um, you know, the journey that you have been on. And I feel like, though, what I feel like here, Aries, is that this change or this breaking out or breaking through has been divinely orchestrated. Like, you have the support of um, of your guides, Um I kind of feel like you're starting to play Aries your own tune. You're starting to walk to the beat of your own drum. Okay, unexpected visitors. Interesting. Okay, so Aries, it's like you're going along this path, right? And because here's the funny thing. When I see unexpected visitors, generally I think you're going to receive an unexpected visitor, which for some of you may very well be the case. But for some reason, I feel like this is you at the door here. I feel like it's like you're opening the door and and having this discovery of, it's like the door to yourself in a sense of, oh, what's in here then? And, and let me explore this. And um, yeah, yeah. Um, this is very, very interesting. But it's it's also as though you're kind of like, you've cracked open the door, but there's a little bit of hes hesitancy, um, potentially a little bit of fear, and that could very well be of the unknown. Um, hmm. Yeah, like you're not quite sure what's going to come next. Holy heck, there's, everything's gone flying. Just a minute, Aries. I'll just pick these up. Sorry about that. <laughs> there was too many cards to pick up. I'm like, man. <laughs> um, I do wonder if some of you are worried about kind of dropping the ball in a sense. Um, oh, almost had one come out. Two for unexpected visitors for Aries, please. 
you're holding back your ace. there's something there's too many cards again you're holding back on something um it's kind of like going to proceed on this path or make this new discovery but there's some fear there okay um interesting three of cups and the four of cups so yeah i definitely feel like okay this is so interesting because there's this i feel like indecisiveness there's this indecisiveness on the one hand you want to celebrate and on the other hand it's there's this resistance here okay and i feel like here aries I don't know, I just feel like I'm wondering, because it's like, you see, these are the three of cups that are sitting here, and I just, and, and see, this is the ace of cups, right? This is the ace, ace of cups, so we've got the celebration here. It, this could be a beginning, a new beginning in love. But the Four of Cups came out first before the Three of Cups. So making, maybe you're taking a step back. You might be taking a step back to see. Hmm, we've gotten a little bit cryptic. I'm not sure what you're wanting to see here. But you're, you're unsure these Definitely some kind of uncertainty. Follow the leader. Okay. So, interesting, interesting, interesting. On the one hand, I feel as though it's necessary for you to take the lead. You need to take the lead and not pull back. Um, because... Some of you are sitting, not wanting to take the lead. It's kind of like the there's um, wow, wow. You're really afraid. You're really afraid. I think, you know, it could be that some of you have been burned before. Um, you might be afraid, Aries, that the same thing is going to happen as what happened before. Okay, this is definitely about a new relationship, right? We've got the lover's card here, which... Why is there doubt, Aries? What's the doubt? There's some sort of doubt. I just wonder if there was a situation where you were once offered a cup um, and the cup was empty. The person who offered you the cup um, hadn't filled it up or it could be that you guys had some work to do and now that work is done, and you're breaking out of this mold. Um, it's a bit scary for you. Or well, you're not quite trusting flying. Okay, so yeah. See, I feel like your head is in a bit of a maze here. And I do feel as though it's necessary for you to rise up. So you can see which direction to go in a little bit clearer. But... With this coming to life and with the judgment card, I feel like, I do feel like for some of you Aries, this has been divinely orchestrated. I feel like that this is not, but there's just some doubt in you and, and this could be protection and, and that's not to say jump into something and not um, look at everything. Um, 
The other thing is that for some of you, it could be that you are so swept up in the moment that you may need to ground yourself to look at every aspect and make sure you don't have rose-coloured glasses on and you're actually being quite grounded in your decision making and that's not to rain on your parade at all but I just feel like maybe it's a matter of looking at things honestly what else for flying for Aries please this is very interesting Aries What else for flying for Aries, please? No, that's not coming. Yeah, keeping your feet on the ground. Keeping your feet on the ground. Hanging man. And the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so this is something that you can grow. Um, that may take a while to grow. But it's, it's sort of like this, there's this solidness about it, right? Um, and, and there's going to be a really, really good outcome. Um, you may very well be deciding as to what you want to do. Okay, and maybe this is what this flying horse is about. So I, I do feel like there's this Absolutely, you need to be viewing things from a different perspective, okay? Um, you need to really look at the, um, how do I put it, like the reality of the situation, okay? Look at, at the situation as though in the day-to-day, -day, um, you know, life, what is this actually going to look like and how is it going to play out, and I do want to say for you, Aries, that this could be also a, a, a passionate beginning in something that you love, okay? It doesn't have to be about love necessarily, um, but, you know, you could have just landed, um, do you know what, sorry, just interrupting myself here, the eye keeps jumping out at me. So going into whatever it is you're about to go into with your eyes wide open. Not closing your eyes. See this woman here, how she's not even looking forward. Her eyes are closed. Um, not getting swept up in the moment, I feel, to make sure that you are grounding yourself and being fully aware and, and looking at everything, I feel. Uh, mountain very interesting yeah there's some things that you're not seeing Aries okay there are some things that you need to be aware of and that you need to be looking at some things that need to um have the light shed on it okay and it could be a little bit you know the saying blinded by love right nine of cups you know, sometimes with the Nine of Cups, this is this is the wish card, right? This is everything you could ever dream of coming true. But I also want to say with this Aries is be careful of what you wish for because you just might get it. And so um, there is the potential for 100% fulfillment here. But again, make sure you're aware of everything. Very mixed message here. Very mixed message. Five of Wands. Okay. So. <sighs> I'm just wondering if for some of you Aries. You may need to, there could be an internal battle going on here and you may need to 
discover what exactly that is. Yes, this may be why I was feeling like this kind of like conflicting cards when they came up here. There was this sort of conflict um, and it could be either internally or it could be other people around you having some sort of conflict here. Okay, and maybe it's this conflict that um, is keeping you hanging in the balance here or you feel like you're a bit stuck. Very interesting. Um, solitude, taking some time out maybe um, to reflect. I feel like maybe for some of you, you feel like there's a certain path that you're going down that's leading to nowhere. Or it could even be a relationship that you're in that isn't progressing and you would like to have this, um, this outcome. Um, but it could be up to you to take the lead on that, to be open and honest to say, this is what I want out of this. Uh, what is actually happening, you may not be getting, for some of you, you may not be getting a, uh, any indication as to what ex exactly the other person's intentions are. So it could be up to you to take the lead. Um, and it could be for the other person that they are taking their time because of things that have happened in their past and they want to be sure. So I just wonder if for some of you someone's pulling back on you and just needing a little bit of time in order for them to make sure they're heading in the right direction. Interesting. We have the Knight of Wands and the Knight, is it Wands? Yep. Sorry, it's hard to read backwards on the camera. And the Knight of Cups. Very interesting. Um, yeah, I feel like this person could very, very well, and look, it's not gender related, so this could be you or the other person. Um, I feel like they are... It's kind of like, and this could be you. I did I just say that? I just said that. Um, it's like you want this, but there's some sort of... I don't know, just, just, it's just this real sense of needing to be sure. Just absolutely needing to be sure. Um... Someone's proceeding with caution for some reason, and, and it could very well be because this is what happened. They carried this burden, and um, and they're not sure, you know, is this going to end up the same? Like, is this actually going to end up like that? Or is, and, and the thing is, if this is you, Aries, then you know, this is what this precaution is about. But understand that this path is a different path, okay? It's not the same path that you once went down, okay? And um, I feel like for some of you, you're going over every single scenario that could be gone over in order to decide whether this is the right thing for you or not, okay? Um, you are afraid of having your heart broken. There is definitely some sort of spark here, um, or, you know, if this is, um, you know, this could be your, your, um, your passion has been ignited in whatever form that may be that applies to your life, okay? Um, but you're afraid, you're afraid of having your heart broken, um, and this is what is holding you back, or that other person, where's my cards, this is what may be holding them back, 
is that fear. And the thing is, it's kind of like it it it's sort of like because I do feel like with the lovers card here and um where's the the flying card here? Um it's kind of like if you could just rise up and see what was ahead that you'd realize you'd actually make it to the end and it would all be okay um and it's almost like you go to walk along that path and then you get scared or the other person gets scared yeah and and a little bit like you don't want to celebrate too early you don't want to be premature with your celebration in a sense and maybe some of you are feeling like someone's going to propose or something like that and you want to get excited about it but you're a little bit like oh I'll just hold back and see what happens because who knows you know um yeah Ooh. 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 Right here this one has flung out five of swords very interesting to have this pop up now. Um, I feel like this is interesting that this has come up with this card. For some of you, Aries, it could very well be that you have gone through a relationship and actually being deceived that it could be that someone has done the duty on you and you're not sure whether you want to put yourself back out there or proceed forward with, with this and this could be in any area of your life this could even be about buying a home um even though there's a lot of indication of um the um you know like it being about love here it could be in regards to anything to be honest with you so let's just see what else We've got things trying to come out but they're not quite coming out the cards so let's just have a look. I kind of want it to jump. But see, I'm seeing this here, Aries, as these guys in the background here, like absolutely defeated. And it's kind of like this is what you want to avoid. The hermit. This is really going within. Okay, so maybe it's the case for some of you that you're leading your own way down the path um, and letting your own, you know, your intuition be that guide. So this could very well be for some of you something that has already happened. And maybe it's the case, Aries, That now you're in this space of stepping out on your own. Details, details. Checking all the details, right? Checking all the details. But, here is, there is a but. See, now I'm really confused, but, you know, this could be a scenario. I mean, it is a general reading, so it could be a scenario that, so, you know, works for one person and then there's another story and then there's another story. So maybe that's why I'm getting all these messages here. But with the details, see, uh, that says clarity. Important notes. Clarity. So it's kind of like going down this path of the hermit to get clarity, right? And this is the solitude. So maybe you've been in this solitude. And um, I want to say with this as well, Aries, is that, um, what was it? It was there. It was there. Come back, come back. This is about 
letting go of things that need to be that you feel need to be perfect right including the parts of you that you feel aren't perfect okay coming up out of this mold and realizing that everything may not be perfect as you envisioned it to be but it's 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 perfectly imperfect Yeah, can you give me more information on details for Aries? Seven of Wands, Seven of Wands. This is this, this, this kind of battle, right? Um, but the thing is that it's sort of like this. Um, I feel like this is an internal battle, to be honest with you, Aries, because it's like overcoming obstacles. Um, and, and this guy here, he's standing here and he's got the upper hand sort of thing. Like you can't even see the people, um, that are sticking their wands at him. Um, this could also be accusations for some of you. So I would just be mindful that if you feel like there's been some sort of deceit, um, to check out the details, to really be sure or, or have facts, like actually have proof um yes don't make premature accusations without proof some of you may feel like you know um but i would definitely make sure that you know okay because that's what the queen of wands would do right she wouldn't go in just you know willy-nilly she um she would actually make sure that she has everything she needs, okay? Um, and I feel like this is what you are headed towards. Like, you're headed towards that surety. And, and it's kind of like that surety about your life, okay? But I just want one more here about this. Details, details. I feel like there's a little bit more. What's this? Is flipped up. What's this one? Hiding behind there, won't even come out. Seven of Cups. Okay, so um, I feel like this is actually feeling quite overwhelmed. Okay, and do you know what? Maybe this is what I have been picking up on during this reading because it feels like there's all these options and it's like I don't even know what's what like I can't get a clear picture of it okay and then I'm kind of like should I have been using these cards but yes I should have because the thing is that you definitely need to take your time uh no <clears throat> I wouldn't say that I would say make a choice actually because now my voice is going all funny I think you're afraid of making the choice. You're afraid of making the wrong decisions. And it's like you're going over everything with a fine tooth comb. So you don't make the wrong decision. But there is no wrong decision. Because you will absolutely grow from whatever decision you do grow, you know, you do make. Okay. I feel like this seven of wands here is you battling with your own mind in a sense, with the, this decision of what needs to be made. So, you know, potentially going into this hermit mode and going into this solitude, you might just need to take a little bit of time out to make the decision. But I would say, I would say, Aries, go within. Okay, go within to feel it out rather than think it out. Okay, because that's going to tell you which which direction you need to go in dry desert yes it's like how long are you going to stand in the dry desert before you make a decision as to which direction to go in okay and the answer is there if that person would just look to the side here and see the bird here if she followed the bird the bird would leave her lead her to um to water
the sun the outcome yes it's going to be great Aries it's going to be great you just need to make a decision I don't feel like you can really go wrong in this situation because it is divinely orchestrated it is part of the divine plan for you okay what have we got here eight of pentacles Hmm. see and actually I have to say this is what you have been working towards okay you've been working towards this but there's something about yourself that you just don't trust right so I feel like you know that that hard work is going to be rewarded okay you just have to make a decision wow Aries that was really kind of like whew, all over the shop but we got there in the end um yeah so I hope this resonates with you Aries please um leave a comment and share and like and subscribe and do all that jazz um, so that hopefully this reading will reach the people it needs to reach in order for them to hear the message that they need to hear in this reading. Okay, Aries, thanks for joining me and thanks for sharing your energy. See you. Bye-bye.